Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So for this one, sorry, I'm trying to adjust the camera. Uh, for this one, it's going to be a custom haul from the Melted Moose. And she's pretty much open for customs all the time. She, but <laughs> ironically enough, she had to squeeze me in last minute because um, I don't know if she just did a restock or something, but she was planning on closing up shop just to take a little bit of a break. Um, but she's amazing and she squeezed me in at the very last minute and she got my custom done in like three days. <laughs> so I got them very, very quickly. So I just got a bunch of the souffles. I know that she offers loaves. I think she offers like bags of shapes or something, but I don't have a whole lot for the Melted Mousse, but the stuff that I have been getting, um, Haley was actually the one that got me into her stuff because she sent me a random act of kindness and she gave me her stuff in our swap. So um, I've really gotten a better feel for it now and I've been obsessed. So I was actually asking around who was doing customs at that very minute and they had told me the Melted Moose. So I was like, yeah, let's do it. So one of the scents that I knew that I wanted was Wep the Carb because that one is definitely one of her best sellers and it's amazing. It's an amazing bakery blend. Most of these blends are house blends. I think I only came up with two of them because a lot of the stuff that I wanted, she pretty much already had in the house blends and like I didn't want to make anybody think that I was like trying to take her blends and like claim them as my own. So yeah, most of them are from her, but let's get into this. So we have the business card here. Thank you for your order, the Melted Moose. That's all of her information. I love like the wooden background too. And then this is the back of the card. I don't know if this is gonna stand or not. Oh, come on, there we go. All right, so I'm just gonna get into this. So she gave me two samples. The first one here is called Bello, and I think this is the one that has the banana in it. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, that's banana. I can't do banana. Can't do it. And then the next one that she gave me is called Bayou Breakfast. I don't know, it's a cute little donut. It's adorable. This smells so good. This smells like a raspberry donut or something. Ooh, I love that one. I'm gonna have to figure out what's in there. All right, so let's jump into this. So the first one I have here is in coconut mint mallow, uh, creamy coconut, icy peppermint, and fluffy marshmallow. If you guys saw my last few videos, you see a pattern here. <laughs> so I do like hers a lot. The peppermint is a little bit too strong for me, but these are also just poured, but I definitely smell the coconut and the uh, fluffy marshmallow. It's really, really good. But um, if anything, I can just add like cotton candy or another vanilla type scent to calm that down. But I think it'd be okay. The next one is in Deep Fried Love, Gooey Bear Claws and Mexican Fried Ice Cream. I also love that she puts the um, scent descriptions on the labels. I love that. Oh, her Bear Claws is on point. I love it. It is perfect. And you can definitely get the Mexican Fried Ice Cream as well. It's a really, really, really amazing bakery blend. All right, next up is called Case of the Mondays, Salted Caramel, Zucchini Bread, and Hot Coffee. So I have one very similar to this, if not exactly the same. I think it might just have a different name back then. Um, but it's from the Melted Mousse, and it was a um, coffee, caramel, zucchini, bread <laughs> type blend, and it's phenomenal. I've melted it a couple of times now. Oh, it's so good. It's amazing. It smells exactly like the other one. God, I wish I had looked at it before I filmed this so I could tell you what it was. Um, but it's really, really, really good. I love it. I love um, coffee and caramel together, especially mixed with zucchini bread. All right, next up we have Santa's Whiskers, All the Crumbs and Santa's Beard After a Christmas Flight Around the World. So this one had me intrigued because it didn't really tell you what was in it, but I just figured it was going to be a bakery blend, which it is. It kind of smells like a snickerdoodle mixed with something. There's definitely like a cinnamon cookie vibe going on in there. Maybe like a, it kind of smells like an ice cream scoop bread to be honest with you as well. I don't know, it's really good though, whatever it is. And right, next up we have Baker's Gonna Bake, Zucchini Bread, Milk and Cookies, Vanilla Ice Cream. So Zucchini Bread and Vanilla Ice Cream has been my jam ever since I tried it from, um, what's it called? Cancel and Keeping Room. 
So I, when I saw this, I was like, yes. And it smells so much like that. It also smells like bacon bake from Super Tarts. It's amazing. If you guys have been here for a while, you know that I love that scent. So, and I try to um, dupe it whenever I can. Okay, this one is mine, Tara's Custom. So this is in Wildberry Moose, Raspberry Zinger, and Zucchini Bread. This is really funny because I didn't realize that I had asked for this in another um, custom. So I have it again. Which I don't care because they are both so freaking good. This one might have a little bit more of the um, Raspberry Zinger in it, but I don't care. They're both amazing. I love, love, love it. Clearly, I was on that kind of a kick or something. I don't know. <laughs> All right, then I got milk and cookies, fresh bread, or fresh baked cookies, vanilla, cinnamon, and cream. Every time I read this, I always want to say fresh bread. I don't know why. I love this one, too. I don't know why, though. It's amazing, but I don't know why I'm getting, like, a chocolate note from it. Maybe it's the cookies or something. I don't know, because it doesn't say that there's chocolate in there. But it's amazing, whatever it's in there. It's so good. I don't know why it's focusing on the background again. It keeps doing that. All right, this is another one of mine. Um, serendipity cream cheese frosting and summer scoop. So I got this idea because somebody was doing blends and I got one of them and it was kind of similar to this one. It was serendipity summer scoop and something else. But when I got it, it kind of smelled like there was cream cheese frosting in it, which intrigued me. So I was like, Ooh, I wonder when I actually mix cream cheese frosting, if it's going to smell the same. And, um, it's really good. It smells honestly even better than that one. Oh my God. I love it. And her serendipity doesn't smell like Play-Doh. <laughs> I know a lot of people think that serendipity smells like Play-Doh and I get that vibe from a few vendors, but hers is really, really good. And that whole blend is perfect. All right, next up, oops, next up is bread winner, fresh baked bread and butter with a hint of strawberry jam. So you guys know me, I love bread and strawberry or bread and lemon, bread and blueberry, anything. This one is so good. Her fresh bread scent is on point and I really like the strawberry that she used too. I can't really pinpoint which one it is because there's so many different strawberry oils out there. But it does smell more of like a strawberry jam, strawberry white cake kind of scent. It's perfect. Okie dokie. Then the next one that I grabbed is called Cloud Cookies. Sugar cookies, vanilla butter fudge, marshmallow fluff, and vanilla be Noel. I thought if anything, I mean I think this one is going to be just fine on its own. But I also thought maybe I could use it as a blender for some, you know, other scents. Like if something is too strong. Actually, you know what? I think this would actually go good with that um, coconut mint mallow one. It looks so good. You definitely get the vanilla butter fudge. It is super strong and the sugar cookies. Oh my God. It's perfect. All of them are amazing. There's not one that I do not like. All right, then the last one. Wow, that was a quick video. <laughs> the last one is the what the carb cake, cookies, bread. If it's a carb, it's in here. I love blends like this. They are amazing. So you definitely get like sugar cookies. Like uh, ice cream scoop bread kind of scent maybe. Or like a Mexican fried ice cream. Now I'm intrigued because I don't know exactly what's in here. I don't know if I smell like a fresh bread or anything. Oh, it's kind of hard to get out of the souffle cup here. That's okay. It definitely smells like sugar cookies though. Like that's the main thing that I get is sugar cookie. So I'm very excited to see how this one does on worm. And I know that there's another one with what the carb. God, will you focus on my wax, please? <laughs> what is happening? I don't know. Sorry. Um, I know there's another one and I, uh, I want to say it's mixed with vanilla be noel or some type of vanilla i don't know but there are two and they're both equally amazing because i do have the other one as well maybe it's sugar milk or something i don't know they're all really good so that is going to be it for this video these are all amazing so if you're questioning whether or not you want to do customs from the melted mousse i highly suggest it there we go um i highly suggest it her stuff is amazing and all of these blends came out exactly the way that i wanted them to um, and especially her own house blend. She has some really, really creative house blends and everything that I got, I love. So 
Um, I definitely recommend this vendor. 10 out of 10. So that's going to be it for this video, you guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you guys all stay safe, sane, and healthy, and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye.